testing. Uh, the site can even the browser or maybe go to Facebook and look at that. Look at how fast is it to move from one page to another. Okay. Uh, so that's that's really uh, what we got in terms of marketing. Uh, so really great for uh, and I think you know with the Q and X platform as the base, uh, it's really a great platform for marketing, right? Now uh, what you will notice as well is that as I as I bring the app up to the foreground, uh, because the screen real estate is much bigger, you get a lot more information. Uh, and if you decide to close it, uh, it actually presents a much smaller relevant information because the real estate is small. As a developer, you can get the API to do that if you want to. Uh, so that's one. Now what I really want to show then uh, is just think about the notification, right? So we are a great platform for messaging. Now we decided on the VE10 to keep the signature red flashing light that's on the right top right hand corner. So that's available on the back of the end, and you can see that. Now what, what usually happens then uh, is that you know, typically a cross in something. Let, let's say for example in my case it is Facebook, right? You're looking at stuff on Facebook. Uh, and the big black comes on. Now that's when you can decide to do this. And the site hey, what have I got that's coming? Uh, if, if it's, let's say for example, it's an EDM message that's come in, and you think, hey, I'm not really waiting for an EDM, so okay, I'm just waiting for an email from the boss. Uh, you know, I don't want to, so I want to stop what I'm doing, I can go back and do what I'm doing. So it, it, it allows you to continue with the chain of thought what you're doing. Now it's great for things like writing an email, for example, long work email. You don't want to be, you know, stopped. Uh, Interrupted. This gives you the ability to pick and see what are your notifications that are out that you've got. Now, you can take a peek one step further. Uh, take, for example, you go into see card as a BBI, maybe I should have a look. You can take a peek one step further and decide to go and have a look at the heart. Okay. Uh, if it's again, if you don't like it, you can go back to the next step. Now, peek and the notifications are available anywhere. So you, you notice that this is where the app is in the foreground. Um, it is available when it's on the active frame, for example, here. Uh, it is also available on the app game, right? So if you do this, same thing. Same action gets you that. No buttons to press, nothing. Just swipe up and that's it. Okay? So that's it. Let me go back here. Let me show you again. Now if you decide you want to go and do something, Get into the map. So this is what I think uh, Charles talked about the map, and, and I think as his name suggests, it's a hub for all the messaging, all your communication comes into here. If you look at the screen, you get the EDM, you get the notifications, for example, for app updates, uh, text messaging, missed calls, uh, emails, multiple emails if you want to, work email if necessary. Uh, in fact, you can see that I've got a work email there. Uh, everything. Now, if you decide that you want to filter something, uh, just do that, and you get only the stuff that you want to see for that account, right? Now, one thing with the heart uh, is that you do a lot of stuff on the heart. Right? Let me show you a little example. Uh, if you go in there, and if you look at that, get this coming message for me, and then you want to reply, you just do that. Now, you've noticed that I didn't get out of the heart, right? I just went into it and did that, and I can actually reply from the heart itself. Uh, so this is really about you know flow. How, how we flow from one thing to another. Uh, the analogy for flow in the Singaporean context is that you know you get out of your house, you take a bus, right? You get to the analogy station, the train station is waiting for you. The train station is waiting for you. Once you reach the train station, you get down, the taxi is waiting for you. It thinks, okay, it, 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 it predicts what is it that you want to do, and then it it's, but it's an action one after the other. Okay, so that's what flow is about. So if you look at this, um, and I can do anything, I can decide to tweet if I want to, um, or LinkedIn, for example, I can go in and uh, even update my LinkedIn uh, profile if I want to. Uh, I can even accept uh, invitations on Facebook and everything all within, uh, within the hub itself. Okay, so that's the hub. Um, obviously, since we're talking about a hub, then we talk about messaging, right? So let me show you uh, the keyboard on the uh, very pen. Now, you will notice that the signature uh, the great keyboard, I mean, we, we do great keyboards. I think that's, that's you know, everybody knows 
there. On glass, I think we've, we've, uh, you know, we've, we've taken a lot of the good stuff that we've done in the, on the, on the Blackberry keyboard here. Designs, you know, signature Blackberry between the, uh, between the characters. Uh, if you go and have a look at the device, you notice that we've got a very uh, high resolution display. Uh, and, and the keyboard almost feels like it's sitting on the glass itself. Okay. Two things about the keyboard. One is that it adapts. It adapts in two ways, um, as, as Charles has said. As you continue typing, now what, what it's actually doing is that it's, actually, it's got a heat map at the back of the keyboard and it actually learns where you're typing. So, for example, if you type T and if you're always using your right thumb to do that, you're most likely to be hitting always at the T and you may go back and forth. So, it learns how you type and that gives you confidence. As time goes on, as you use the device, I guarantee you, use the device for one and a half weeks, a hardcore for key user, you're going to be you're gonna be flying with this device. Okay, a lot of Blackberry users are all hardcore for key users. It took them less than a week to be flying with this. Okay. So it, it adapts in terms of how you type, gives you confidence faster. Second thing with, in terms of how it adapts is that it adapts to the language that you use. Right? As you type a word, for example, it will adapt and remember those words. Try this. Now you can type Kampong. Look at it. Next time it comes. So it, it adapts. So, so whether you're typing on Facebook, putting updates in there, using your local language, uh, like uh, yesterday or today, I typed it locally, and it comes up. The first time you do it, the second time you do it, you remember. Even phrases, for example. Okay. Uh, so it adapts with, in terms of the language that you use. So that's the BlackBerry keyboard. Uh, please try it out. Now with the BlackBerry keyboard, the other thing that's uh, very useful uh, is single hand use. So if you've noticed, there are text that appears actually at the top of each character. Um, especially, I think most of you are very mobile, always on the move, always doing things. How many times have you had a situation? Get up the trick, get up the fight, turn on your phone, messages are coming in, you're at the customer's back in hand. Uh, you want to tell the taxi driver, please, I'm coming, don't go away. You need to type something. So this is really great for them. Um, and you notice what I've done. Um, notice I'm clicking the keyboard keys, keys up. So that's something that you can use for flipping. So we, we call this uh, getting piping the flip. Um, and, and as you go along, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't suggest that you do this for long emails. That uh, you would do this really, you know, when you need to do it. Uh, not that I suggest you're doing it for the driving, for example, but you know, when you're at the airport, for example. Now, with the one one hand key, uh, you can also decide to uh, delete the keys. And all you need to do is just swipe. Uh, I can't show you the camera, but essentially you just swipe, uh, and, and you the delete the keyboard, right? Or if you decide you need symbols, you just with one hand, uh, just toggle it by just swiping it down. That's all you need to do. Okay? So that's the BlackBerry keyboard. Uh, the last thing I want to show is then uh, BBM. Uh, a lot of BlackBerry like, users uh, today, even today on the BlackBerry like, OS, uh, use BBM. I think in Singapore, 80% like, or more uh, BlackBerry users use BBM. That's a very high percentage, right? Uh, now, with, with obviously with BlackBerry 10, uh, which made the experience, uh, well, at least the interface much better. Uh, you get your contacts all appearing uh, uh, in big format if you want to. Uh, groups, uh, it's, it's done in a forum format, so you get your chats up there, the pictures that you have shared as a group, for example, um, you know, things to do in events. Um, one thing that we've done also with uh, BlackBerry 10 uh, is this thing called Black BBM. Um, so let me just try and show this. I hope it, uh, it works with Wi-Fi. I hope not many are on Wi-Fi. So if you notice, you've got a connect a green icon at the top, uh, and it works on uh, 3G. You've got very good 3G. You just be 
create uh, or 4G LTE. Uh, I think the device is still well. The device is still launching in Singapore. The Z10 is LTE. Okay. Or if you're on your own Wi-Fi. So let me try and call that. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. 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 Thank you.